Many of us fear hell is a skeleton in God's closet, an underground torture chamber that looks like this. No way. <laughs> well, that's not quite right. Okay, well you probably have this picture that right now I live here on earth. And one day I'll die and God will either send me up to heaven or down to hell. The problem is this isn't how the Bible actually talks about it. In the Bible, the story goes like this. Heaven and earth are created as good by God. However, when we rebel, they're then torn apart by the destructive power of sin, death, and hell. But God is good and he's on this mission to reconcile heaven and earth, to bring back together what hell has torn apart. Jesus' word for hell is Gehenna. It's a valley outside the city of Jerusalem and it was a place known for child sacrifice. People would go outside the city, light the flames, and murder their children in this really distorted religious practice. And it's interesting to note, the flames in Gehenna were lit by human hands, and the people killing their kids were going back into the city to sleep at night. So for the prophets, Gehenna became the symbol for idolatry and injustice, and what's wrong in Jerusalem and in the world as a whole. But the hope of the prophets was that God was going to return one day as the good king to redeem Jerusalem and kick out all the rebellious, destructive powers outside his city. The reason hell's destructive power is kicked outside the city is because it stands opposed to the good and redemptive things God wants to do inside the city. So we see that hell's location is not underground, it's outside the city. And its purpose is not torture, it's protection. But is it a chamber? Now, the irony is that we want hell, we want life without God, and we choose destructive things all the time that are tearing our world apart. Take sex trafficking, for example. Most of us want that out of God's world. I spent a summer overseas working against it and was disgusted by the exploitation of kids for sex. But as I read my Bible, I realized Jesus wants sex trafficking out of his world too, only he takes it a lot more seriously than I do. I want to prune back the problem with sex trafficking. Jesus wants to dig out the root, the root of things like pride, lust, rage, and greed, things we all struggle with. Luckily, Jesus' question for us is not, are you good enough to get into my city? His question is, rather, will you let me heal you? God wants to forgive. Hell's not locked from the outside. It's locked from the inside if we refuse to be healed. So, lots of people think of hell as a skeleton God's hiding, something that makes him look vindictive and vengeful, but I've actually found it to be one of God's greatest acts of mercy. I explain more on why in my book, along with looking at judgment and holy war. The book is called The Skeletons in God's Closet, The Mercy of Hell, The Surprise of Judgment, The Hope of Holy War. Available now.